Today we are seeing the difference between three terms chromosome, chromatin and chromatid which sound very much similar and because of that it can be confusing sometimes. Now we know that DNA is a genetic material and DNA is too long to be fit inside the nucleus. So what happens? It has a packaging strategy. So we are not going to talk about that but we know that in order to pack inside the nucleus DNA wrap itself around histone proteins, right? So we have a double stranded DNA that would wrap around this is still a double strand but just for easy understanding I have drawn like this so this DNA would wrap around histone proteins these are histones this particular assembly where you have DNA and histone DNA plus histone looks like thread okay DNA is not yet condensed so this looks like thread when you observe under light microscope you will see something like this thread like DNA everywhere right this is just the DNA and the protein that phase is called as chromatin okay just the DNA with a stone protein which is not yet condensed looks like thread is called as chromatin so in normal condition when the cell is active it will be having DNA in chromatin phase where the cell uh, needs proteins, you know, it is active, so the DNA needs to transcribe and translate. If it is condensed in the chromosome phase, there is no place for enzyme to bind to the DNA, and thus there can be no formation of protein. Now, when the cell has to undergo cell division, maybe mitosis or meiosis, the DNA will start getting condensed, and that time this structure, something like this, condensed structure of DNA would appear. Okay? This condensed form of DNA is nothing but chromosome. Now I know you might be thinking the moment I say chromosome, this is what comes in our mind. Okay, I'll come to that later. So this is one chromosome and in humans we have 23 pairs of chromosome. Right, we have homologous chromosome in each pair, one coming from mother, one coming from father. So this is one chromosome I'm talking about, it will have its homologous pair. So now I have homologous pair of chromosome, one which has come from mother, one which has come from father. So this individual unit over here which is condensed form of DNA is called as chromosome. Okay, so this is one chromosome. We have 23 pairs of chromosome, this being one pair example. Now when the cell has to divide, each chromosome needs to replicate, right? Each chromosome should make its copy identical copy so what will happen I'm taking an example of this particular chromosome it will make its identical copy it will duplicate itself so at the time of cell division the chromosome is undergoing the DNA is undergoing a replication each chromosome will make its identical copy which is initially attached at the point of centromere so I have taken an example of this particular chromosome say for example so this assembly is still my chromosome only but now it is duplicated chromosome, right? It is duplicated. There are two copies. So in this case, this chromosome which has two copies, each copy is called as one chromatid. So this chromosome now has two chromatids, what we sometimes also call as sister chromatids because it has the identical information. So this is now called as chromatids. It is nothing but it is a duplicated chromosome. Each is called as chromatid individually. So what will happen when the cell will divide? Each cell will get one copy of chromatid. Now this chromatid will go in one cell, this chromatid will go in another cell and now this will act as chromosome itself in that new cell. Right? It is nothing but duplicated chromosome only. Now what happens when we are doing karyotyping? We are freezing the cell in the metaphase stage where the chromosome has duplicated but yet not uh, separated. So that's why you are observing this particular phase. It is one chromosome but having two chromatids, right? But in a cell, the chromosome is present something like this. So that's the difference. You have DNA plus histone initially where the DNA is not condensed. It's a thread-like structure. That is called as chromatin. When this DNA gets condensed at the time of cell division, it forms chromosome. And it has to duplicate itself because the cell is dividing and each copy should go to the new cell. And each copy in this chromosome is called as chromatids. So I hope you understood the difference. Do subscribe to the channel for new video every Friday. And I'll see you next time. Until then, keep learning.